so much for participating in this year's Great Give Back. So in this video, I am going to show you what you should receive in your kit, as well as some guidelines to follow when making your letters for troops. Um, so you are going to get the necessary materials to make a card that's going to look like this. So you can see there's three different stars, red, white, and blue, and a cutout that says thank you. The inside of the card is blank because you are going to be able to write and draw in there whatever you want. So to make your card, you are going to use these glue dots that come in your kit to attach the shapes onto the front of the card. And to do that, all you have to do is peel off these glue dots and stick them onto the back of your shapes, just like that, and then peel off the plastic. So it's almost like a piece of double-sided tape, right? Because it's gonna attach to both your shape as well as the card below it. So I'm gonna put a couple more on here. You might need a couple glue dots for each shape, depending on how big it is. This is our biggest star, so I'm gonna put three on here. Just like that. And I'm gonna peel this plastic off. Just like that. You might be able to see those three glue dots on there. And now I am just going to stick this right onto the front of my card, like that. See? And now we have a star attached to the front of our card. And we are going to do the same thing with our red and white stars. So I just put two uh, glue dots on this one and I am going to attach it right over the blue one, just like that. And then I will put one last glue dot on this white star. And I will put that right in the middle of the red one. So now we have this really pretty red, white, and blue star on the front of our card. Now we're just gonna attach the thank you. So you'll see that this was cut out in two parts. You can just leave it all blue or you can put the red U on top. Give it some extra color. And I'm gonna put glue dots on this. Make sure you put it on the back so you want the letters to be backwards when you're applying the glue dots to it. Now I'm going to stick this right on here underneath my star. So thank you. Perfect. And I will put the U on there as well. See how easy that was? Super easy. And I love glue dots because they're not messy at all. And they're really easy to use especially when you're just like attaching shapes onto a card like this. All right, now I'm going to put my U directly over the blue U, <laughs> just like that. All right. And there we go. That's all you have to do to make the front of your card. And if you want to vary it up a little bit and maybe put your stars in a different pattern, that is totally fine. It's all up to you how you decide to decorate it. Now, also in your kit, you're going to get 10 markers that you can use to decorate your card. And you're also going to get these guidelines. And this is really important. These guidelines come from the organization called Operation Gratitude, which is where we are going to be donating your cards to. And these guidelines just tell you um, what you should and shouldn't put in your card. So we're gonna go over this really quick. 
when you're writing your message inside, you should begin it with something like dear hero or dear brave one. Avoid using terms like dear soldier because many recipients of your letters and cards might have other titles and jobs in our military. They might not technically be a soldier, but they're still deployed overseas and they'll still get your card and love it. Uh, so for it to be uh, applicable to them, you want to start your letter with something like Dear Hero is a perfect thing to use. Uh, you might also want to say thank you for your service. Um, avoid putting the date or time of year on your uh, card because they might not get sent right away. Um, and if you are going to sign your card, make sure you just use your first name only, okay? And you can also draw pictures in here um, and all that good stuff. And also on this guideline sheet at the bottom there are some examples of different messages you can write things like thank you for serving america come home soon you are my hero thank you for keeping us safe all that good stuff so you can use these to write in your card if you want or you can just write from the heart and draw pictures as well so in your kit you should have enough materials to make two cards that you will then drop off to us uh, back at the youth services desk in center reach, okay? All right, so that is it, and I hope you enjoy making your card, and I can't wait to see them and send them off to be sent to our uh, men and women in the military.